Good morning. Welcome, one and all, to day 15 of Red Dead Redemption 2. <clears throat> uh, it's good to have you on the program today. We had uh, quite a night last night. Oh my gosh. Uh, we played Alien, <clears throat> Alien Isolation, and I was doing so well. Uh, we, we got through a great portion of it. We even had a spacewalk outside. It was a lot of fun. Then towards the very end, I'm racing towards the tram. And just as I punch the button to get to the next se section, Alien Claw, oh, right up in the back. It was really frustrating. But um, we've also been playing Doom Eternal. And I considered playing Doom Eternal in place of Red Dead Redemption 2 for today's stream, but uh, <clears throat> when I suggested that people in the chat uh, really wanted to continue with Red Dead Redemption 2. Welcome new member Morgana, and then Mac West says, Morning Ox, good morning Mac West, good to see you on the program today. So, uh, due to popular demand, we will continue with Red Dead Redemption 2 this morning and my next Doom Eternal live stream. I don't know. It depends on how I feel. Maybe it'll be later today. Maybe it'll be tomorrow. I do know that I need time to get my next lore video done for Fallout. <clears throat> uh, I haven't even finished the audio editing for it yet. So, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to have time to do another Doom Eternal stream today, but maybe, maybe sometime tomorrow. Kiyagu-san with a tip. Thank you very much, Kiyagu-san. I hope everybody is staying safe. <clears throat> I've got my coffee. I didn't go out today. I just brewed a cup at home. Nick Barnhouse says, can we possibly get both Red Dead Redemption 2 and Doom today? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I would love to, but... If I do another live stream today, I, there's no way I'm going to get my live stream, uh, my, my lore video done for the weekend. All right. Let's pick up where we left off here. And while the game is loading, I'll go ahead and light the cigar. Tobias McKenzie, welcome to the channel. Brand new member. So glad to have you here. Rachel says, you need a coffee emoji, Oxhorn. Well, as often as I drink coffee here on the program, I probably should get one, huh? <clears throat> Random dude says, Ox, can you play Animal Crossing New Horizon? Uh, you know, I, I'll look into it. it. I don't know if it's really kind of my kind of game, but I never, I never say never, so it's something, something we'll look into. Oh, that's right. We were hunting the vampire. It's midnight. Can't you go by without Okay. <clears throat> now, where was the alleyway? It's midnight. Was it this alleyway? That gun? Look out, huh? For Christ's sake. We were hunting the vampire. It's midnight. Let's go find him. How do you do? How do you do, sir? Behind the church, I was told. 
There's the church. <clears throat> Let's see, where is it? I think this might be it. <clears throat> there it is! It's the vampire! Must be tough, looking like you. So, you found me. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing? Stay back for your own sake. I walk with the undead. <laughs> what, you're a vampire? I have been called many names over the centuries. Now go, or I'll feed on you too. Hmm. You're a goddamn idiot. I'll suck you dry. Look at you, you're a joke. Whoa! One stab death? My dead eye wasn't working. What happened? He's a one hit kill? Oh my gosh. Well, that didn't go according to plan. I couldn't pull out my gun. Lost 150 bucks. And where did it put me? What? What in the world? Hey, Ox, thanks for the fun content. Hope you and your lovely st family stay healthy. Take care. Thank you, Amy. <sighs> Forget this. Um... Was it really 214? No, this was 313. Well, today's 320. Auto save 313. I think that's the one. I don't want uh, I don't want my encounter with the vampire to end like that. Guido says told you to stay out of melee range, really? Well, this time I'll um I'll pull out my rifle. And make sure my dead eye core is charged up. My dead eye core is charged up. Why didn't it work? What did you expect? Says Vladimir. He's a vampire. Yeah, but he's not like a legit vampire. He's. He's. A, I don't know. It, it didn't sound like a vampire vampire. Are you well? Yeah, yeah. Here we go again. Let's kill a vampire. Ethan says, "Ox, you missed a few super chats. All right, I'll get him in just a bit." So, you found me. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Stay back for your own sake. I walk with the undead. <laughs> the way he talks. What, you're a vampire? I have been called many names over the centuries. Now go. Or I'll feed on you too. We tried the violent option last time. Let's try the diffuse option. You're no more vampire than I am. I'll suck you dry. Wow. I could drop you with one hand behind my back. You are the seventh. Steady now. 
Golly. Alright, what's he got? Stringy meat. Ornate dagger. Hey. Let's see what this is. Favorite weapon ranking kills zero. A rare decorative dagger featuring a silver blade embossed with ornate designs and a gold statuette handle. This weapon previously belonged to a strange pale man dressed in black, discovered lurking amongst the back alleyways of St. Denis. Okay, well, we found the vampire. Sorry, sorry, just got a text from family. All right, uh, now what about this poor soul? He's just here to be feasted upon. Uh oh, is somebody gonna think that I did this? Lasso him, says Red North. I don't know why. Why would I lasso him? That's the only way to get that dagger. Don't lose it, says C Bomb. Okay. All right, well, we found the vampire. Let's see, what's next? Pyroman says, take a closer look at him. First person, he has pointy ears. I think he's legit. Also, no X on the minimap. He's alive. Now, there is an X on the minimap. It's just grayed out because I eluded it. I eluded him. See, look at the minimap. There's a, there's a bit of an X. But you're right about the ears. Wait, no, no, you're not. Look at those ears. Those are normal ears. They just look slightly bigger because he's uh, bald. Okay, they've got a slight point to them. All right, a little bit. But not so much that they couldn't be normal ears. I mean, really, the only thing strange about his appearance is the paleness of his skin and this uh, lavish cloak of his, this coat. I don't know. A legit vampire? Well, this is the game that has aliens, so maybe. They've got a point, says Air. Maybe they do. All right, what was I doing? We found the vampire. Was I going to do jo Josiah Trelawney's? Or we could go back and talk to Sadie. Well, we're here in town, so let's do jo Josiah's. We saw the execution in town last week. Oh, we could take a show. There's a show going on. Let's do that. It is nighttime after all. Let's enjoy the night. And uh, yeah. then we'll go to Josiah. Come on. Oh, girl. yeah. Move. What is your problem? Leave me alone. No. No, please. Ah. He ran over my horse. He ran over my horse. Why am I wanted? I was minding my business in the middle of the road, and that guy runs over my horse, and I'm wanted? Is this something not right about that? Oh, we've got a question mark up here. 
Duchess and other animals. There is someone here you can meet. Oh, maybe we should do that first while we still have it. Oh, wait, no, that's just, uh... That just popped up, too. So we should do it while we still have it. <coughs> Making me want it. He rhymes over my horse. Not even right. Monsieur? You're a bad man, Ox, says Matt. I was standing there just doing my thing, and he runs over my horse, and now I'm wanted. And I'm the bad man. Okay. All right, what's this, a greenhouse? Al Algen and Wasp, purveyor of the exquisite. Is this a resolution? Algernon and Wasp. Hey. One moment, please. This is extremely delicate. Hey. There. Oh, wonderful. Algernon and Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? <laughs> can I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? He introduced himself as Tacitus Kilgore. Nymphs. I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not... Really a nymph kind of man. No, oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, wow. I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> An artist. Well, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventurer. Ha! Oh, yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, 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 no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer. Oh, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need oh, no. 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Ah, oh, man. I don't want to go on a scavenger hunt. Exotics log update. Uh, let's read this thing. What do we got? Five little egret plumes, five reddish egret plumes, five snowy egret plumes, and 15 Lady of the Night orchids. We gotta get 15 doggone egret plumes? Parker Smith says you could have met him at the party before. Did I not take enough time at the party? Wandering around. Well, uh, I regret that. Algen and Wasp, a fashion designer and collector of exotic flora and fauna, asks for assistance in tracking down some rare items for several commissions. Jim Pickens with a tip. Thank you very much, Jim. All right, now I remember reading that there were some super chats earlier that I missed while I was raging over dying to the vampire. Let me scroll up real quick. 
See if I can get to them. Sarah says, just throw silver junk at him. I should have that. My yeah, I wonder if you could you have used like a crucifix. You do have access to a crucifix earlier in the game when you're when you when you when the child steals it. I wonder if you have that in your inventory when you meet the vampire. Does it do anything? Oh, and then I can't scroll up any farther. I can't scroll up any farther. So if there were any others, I missed them. I'm sorry about that. But thank you very much. Uh, Grapple says this quest line is a labor of, nope, just pain. Yeah, I, you know, I don't know. I don't, don't think I really want to do painful quests right now. So let's get back to what we were doing. Uh, what were we doing? We were going to go take in a show. And then we were going to go meet with our friend. There's my beautiful horse. Goldie. Yeah. Now, let's see. Do I need to feed this horse? It's probably been a while. Let's feed the horse. There's a big block of hay. You're okay. Now, my own stamina core is pretty low. Is that from all of the uh, running I usually do? Or? I'm not sure why my stamina core is so low. Good, girl. You know, when I first started playing this, somebody in the chat told me that uh, I had to keep rushing my horse until the dust particles stopped falling off. And I believed it for a while. I just kept sitting there brushing. This is why you don't believe everything you hear in chat, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let me see. Uh, stamina core. We've got a cocaine gum. Oh, but that just feels... That doesn't fortify it. I want something that fortifies the core. I guess food. I got to eat food. Food is the only thing that fortifies the internal core, not the external. All right, so we've got corned beef. Uh, this will... Baked beans. All right, give me some of them baked beans. And then maybe some more baked beans. How about how about that? It's gone. No, am I out? I'm out of baked beans. But I do have candies. Oh, I don't... Do that. Okay. That ugly bitch deserved what she got. I she deserved it. Seems Enough. ironic, come. Huh? Pull. Oh. No! There he goes. Oh. I heard the next snap. Damn. Cruel and abhorrent behavior will not stand in this else. country. These legs twitching. Justice won this battle, but the war is far from over. Oh my God. Heed these words. Bravo! And it makes me hungry watching that. I know what you mean. It's the blood boy. Makes me feel alive. <laughs> I could go for some crawfish. <laughs> I could go for some crawfish. Did they just hang this guy because he called a lady ugly? Is that what we were supposed to get from that? Melina Richard says, thanks for yesterday's advice, Oxhorn. I bought Red Dead Redemption 2 for the uh, lock-in in the UK. Hopefully they will find a vaccine soon. Uh, we can, we can, we can only hope. I, I think a vaccine will eventually come. I don't think it'll be soon. If hey, I'm stay away from the dead man. Okay. All right. Sorry. I, it's the morbid curiosity. Hey, yeah. I, I was hungry for crawfish, and then I wanted to explore the dead body. You know, it's life in Saint Denis. Let's go, girl. <laughs> He killed her, says random dude. Oh, did I miss that? He killed her for being ugly. Ah, all right, that makes a bit more sense. Well, if that's the case, then I guess I, I can't complain. I mean, you kill a girl for being ugly? 
Yeah. Execute him. Get rid of him. Buongiorno. Man, I love Saint Denis. I wish I could have spent more time here earlier in the game. Random dude says, please don't take in a show. Oh, well, sorry, sorry. I, but I really want to take in a show. There are only so many shows that they could have possibly reported, right? So I want to, I want to be able to make sure that I see them all, which means I need to take every opportunity I can while the shows are still playing. Tobias says, do you like the realism of having to remember to feed the horse at all? I'm usually annoyed about having to interrupt gameplay to remember that stuff. Uh, no, it, it annoys me too. Um, I've, I've been vocal about that in other games as well, like Fallout 76 and curing disease and having to eat and all of that jazz. Um, it's tiring. It's tiresome. I don't, I don't like it. It doesn't contribute to my gameplay Why, hello enjoyment. There. All right, let's see what the show is today. Buy a ticket, two bucks. Ticket, please. Head straight through those double doors. Weird Beard says, Oxhorn, once you get a moment, Doom Part 3 isn't available. Did you forget to make it public? Oh, God, is that what happened? Uh, no, actually, I think it's having a processing glitch on YouTube. Let me refresh it here. Yeah, YouTube is still processing that file. I didn't do more than four hours, did I? That was, that was like strictly a four-hour stream of Doom Part 3. It was less than four hours, so I can't explain why they're having such a long time processing it. They've already processed my live stream from last night, uh, Alien Isolation, so I don't know why they're taking such a long time with uh, part three of my Doom stream. But once it's live, I'll let you know. Visiting every city, town, hamlet, and village of importance. I have seen dogs that can fly. <laughs> Monkeys that can sew, <laughs> and a half man that, despite being an addle-headed fop, could juggle and please a harem at the same time. It's true. Now, let's get down to it. This remarkable woman first attained notoriety seducing alligators out of the swamp and into a pot of. Eric says, Ox, why did you put a hashtag for Doom and Doom Eternal on this video? I didn't. I just double-checked it. It says Red Dead Redemption and um, hashtag RDR2, not Doom and Doom Eternal. If you're seeing it, um, that's very strange because I changed the hashtag out for Alien Isolation last night as well. So, uh, yeah, I, YouTube has weird quirks. It's a weird streaming platform. Sometimes my updates and changes don't make it live. That's the best I can say. Uh, Jim Pickens says, that was the guy you took to the dock a while ago. Who was? Trelawney? Dude. No? Her snake dance will leave you questioning allegory. Trust. The mysterious Maya. What? We saw this one. We saw this one already. Well, I'm not going to sit through it again. Hey, lady, where's the new act? I want new entertainment. I'm tired of this lady. I want something new. I came here for a new show. This is off. I paid my two bucks. I'm going to heckle. Turn that snake into boots. All right, I'm done. Let's get out of here. The one who was hanged? The guy who was hanged was the guy I saved? You're kidding me. And he killed a lady? I can't restock on cigars? I paid my two bucks. Come on, give me some booze and cigars.
Turn that snake into boots. Well, I'm bummed. I thought, hey, can I get that? I should be able to get that. Why can't I get that? That's a pack of cigarettes. Can I get back there? I can't get back there. The second act may be different, says Weird Beard. Oh, yeah, so, I mean, if I do that, I'm going to sit through the entire thing. Maybe the second act will be different. Maybe the third act will be different. And before you know it, I've watched the entire show again. Shoot the snake lady. I'm not going to go about murdering people. Why can't I loot this pack of cigarettes? Nicholas says, yes, it's hashtag Doom Eternal and Doom on my PC, too. That's right, we had the snake mishap because I heckled. Goodness. All right, let's see what the second act is. Do not worry, ladies and gentlemen. It is quite easy to suck the venom out of a woman. I have done it several times. <laughs> I am honored to present to you the greatest escape artist ever to live. Wow. Compositions have been written about his incredible feats. Oh, this is new. I cannot delay this congregation one more second of experiencing the phenomenal display of the one and only Benjamin Lazarus. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, oh, I am the remarkable Benjamin Lazarus. Have we seen this one? We haven't seen this one. Entertainer the world has ever Garbage. seen. I have delighted concert saloons, variety theaters, and dime museums. I have just returned from London, where Gah. audiences stood riveted for an entire hour as I attempted to escape a pair of handcuffs. Yes, I am the king of handcuffs. But tonight, as promised in the stories you've read in the newspaper, I will introduce my latest invention. This steamer trunk of death. Steamer trunk of death. Nice like magic. You are aware I can escape from any contraption. In fact, I offer $10 to anyone who can fashion a device oh. that can hold me. $10? Right. That's a week's wages. A piano maker has tried and failed. Why, I even went to the sheriff and dared him to lock me in jail so I could escape. He wouldn't do it. I perform jail escapes completely without clothes and you still dead. declined, knowing that no jail can hold me. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me thoroughly explain my apparatus. I hope you crook in there. Especially made <laughs> steam, steamer, truck, manufactured in Pittsburgh. It contains three impenetrable locks, no. reinforced steel bands, and inside are razor sharp daggers what? that forbid me to move even one inch. Seriously? My assistant will place this device over my face that will not allow me to breathe. I can hold my breath longer than anyone Monster. in the world, but I cannot hold it forever. Oh now, I do not foresee any accident happening, but we know in life He's accidents do happen. Babies arrive, phones are broken <laughs> from a horse kick, worse are started. This is my most dangerous escape yet, and should ah. anything go wrong while I am attempting to escape and it is impossible for me to breathe, let me assure you my assistant is trained in case of an Here's emergency and will rush in with an axe to save my life. I pray that does not have to happen. Phony! Now, I encourage you to hold your breath with me as I enter this steamer trunk of death. Don't but I ask you, Get out is of it here. a case or a casket? Uh oh, here we go. He's gonna die. We need another act. Is he okay? 
there blood? <laughs> All right. Uh, yes. Uh, Get off the stage. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Remember, time and space are just an illusion. It's all Death. nonsense. Can be cheated. <laughs> Come on. All right. I gotta say, I was impressed. That was pretty impressive. What would have happened had I sat in that seat, though? Would he have appeared in my lap? I mean, that's awkward. Oh, 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 how? How did he do it? Oh, incredible. Thank you for Nobody your positive cares. accolades. I, I put on an incredible show, don't I? <laughs> Incredulous, awe-inspiring. I more. encourage any man in this audience who has a high opinion of himself to square off with our next act. She is the strongest woman alive. Whoa. Presenting Miss Hortensia from the deepest of Bavaria. Do something better. We saw this one though, didn't we? But now I have an opportunity to square off with her, right? Can I, can I participate? Get off! Come on! How do I, how do I sh show up? Participate. Yeah. Phonies. I would like to challenge you to like arm wrestling. Some fella gonna knock you sideways. <laughs> Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I don't know what I got to do. I'm walking up here. I'm trying to talk to her. I'm. I would like to participate in this activity. I have traveled across this country, from New York to San Francisco to Blackwater. Uh -oh. No man can defeat me. Many have tried. Failed. Is there any man in this audience soup. who thinks he can take me on? I will make you the laughing stock of this town. Yes, me. We need Come another Come on the stage and fight me. Come on, someone. Come on. Get up here. Working on it. Ah, my next victim. Take your best shot. Hortensia, you lady who went places to San Francisco and whatnot. Ah! No, no, my eyes. Get up. Oh, oh, oh. I got knocked out. Poor Arthur. Oh, now they threw me out back. And I lost my hat. Oh, no. Oh, wait, no, there's my hat. Wow, nothing. I got knocked out cold and <laughs> stop back. Is it possible to defeat her? Is it even possible? Where, where am I? Yeah, I'm in the back of the theater. No, I'm in the alleyway behind the theater. New Cavalry says I'm home now. Just got in from uh, WI, Wisconsin. Uh, FEV is making people lose their minds. So hug mom and get a home cooked meal and watch Oxhorn. Best ever. Sounds good to me. 
Love obliterated. You got beat by a girl, says Wafer Man. A match of fisticuffs. Not the hat. I know. Is it even possible to beat her? I got, I got pwned, as they say. Is everyone gonna recognize me now as the guy who got beat by Hortensia? Okay, girl. All right, now let's get on to this fella right here, Josiah Trelawney. Brett says you can knock her out, but Kudra Cube says it's impossible. I've tried. A little dank says, yeah, if you try blocking. All right. All right. Evening, sir. How are we today? Yeah. Nice evening, sir. You got your booty kicked, says Zayfell. Yes, I did. Random homeless guy says you can't beat her though. Uh, that's kind of what I thought, but there are people in chat saying that you can beat her. I'm worried about the snake charmer because she didn't get beat bitten the last time I watched the program, but this time she did. Y'all, I'm not sure I should be saying this, when but I did hear that Miss Ladier has got a prescription for morphine now. Been laid out for weeks. Huh. Wha Looks like I can't bring my horse up there. Tobias says tip for Evening using you, pwned. Thank you, my friend. Old uh, Ralph Mao Oxhorn showing his uh, showing up Is in chat. Hey there, Trelawney. A fine night of debauchery. Oh, great. What's this going to be about? Oh, there you are, my dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. What? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Oh, man. Don't work too hard now. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. Oh, great. I have to spend money. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was I... the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can the Whitmore? I hate spending money. Oh, total price, zero bucks. Yes, I get a free suit. Might I suggest a fine three-piece town suit, sir? Perfect for the occasion, I'd say. Uh, Come on, dear boy, don't be shy. I can't, is there nothing else? That's it, that's my only option? I can't navigate to something else? We are in something of a hurry here, Arthur. Yeah, all outfits are locked out, so I have to buy the Whitmore. Thankfully, it's free. A very good choice, sir. Come on, okay. let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. 
You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and oh. flamboyantly while you win. Great. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Uh, oh, man. After the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. <coughs> no, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. I hope I don't have to be good at cards. I'm great at solitaire. I'm okay at, you know, five card stuff. My good man. That's it. Could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? Hick! <laughs> Wait. This oh, unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of Ethan mad. H says, oh, Ox, you do not board, have to shave your beard. Good, good. Well, very good, sir. I'll no, just, um... it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. There's a pomade. I'll just go through hairstyles. Hopefully that's enough. What's a Make good Arthur Morgan hairstyle? Like prince, sir. I mean, this is what I have already. I, I just recently got my hair cut. I could go buzzed. Here, is this enough? Do, do I have to buy something? Maybe I'll just buy pomade. What? Yeah. There, <clears throat> very smart. Okay. Come on, let's get to the box. I've arranged some transportation for us. Mrs. So you getting along okay? I had Are we hopping in this buggy? George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach. Um, <clears throat> Luke the Vault Dweller says, Memorize this. Fold, bet, and then bet again. And you'll win. It's one way to get a gold. Fold, bet, bet. I can do that. Fold, bet, bet. So fold, bet, bet, win, repeat. Fold, bet, bet. I can do that. We can't winnie up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's a mark? You're shuffling and mumbling. Are you all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. <laughs> Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? I love Didn't Arthur's optimism. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, everyone in the chat is telling me that Strauss with? will tell me what Don't to do. Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. 
They are searchers when we get on. Oh. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. No guns, oh dear. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. Watch Strauss, listen there to the dealer. Are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. I can't wait to see Arthur acting. luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, Come on, gentlemen. Arthur. Hello, dear boy. Do some acting, Arthur. Pretend to be rich. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I am Arthur from the oil fields. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. I thought Good I... time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun. Tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? Sit at the poker table. Strauss knows the hands that will be dealt. Follow his instructions while playing f poker. Full Feel free bet, to join a bet. game, sir. Well, last time, I didn't walk around a lot. I went straight to my objective, and I regretted it. So now I'm going to walk around a, a lot and schmooze. Hello, dandy fellow. How are the stock prices in what you do? Hello, mister. How do you do? Nice to get away from it all, ain't it? Je vois. Well, don't let me spoil your peace. Au revoir. Hello, ma'am. Bonjour. That's it. What about you, dapper gent? Hello, sir. Looks like there's a free seat over there if you're interested. Hey there. How do you do? So I'm not getting anything Welcome from aboard, these guys. Sir. Well, my lady, that is a fancy hat. What type of animal did you kill to make it? Madam. Bonjour. Are you playing tonight, sir? They just really want me to start betting. Are you joining us? Oh, hello. Those feathers look expensive. How many ducks does it take to make that? Hello there. Bonjour. All right, I'm gonna get down to it. Ah, uh, let's play poker. Fold, bet, bet. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry, I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Hey, Desmond Blythe. Good evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. Hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Oh, Chips already stacked up waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fared? Some better than others. If Full. we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm in. Call. Like I said, Mr. Callahan, Cowards. Oh, uh, I'll call. Yes, call. Okay, sorry, boys. I'm taking it all. We'll see about that. To hell with it. <laughs> Here we go, then. Queen 10-7. Well, Hello, my ladies. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. 
Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. <laughs> so, fine. what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting in the hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. Keep betting, I all right? I stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. I'm all in. Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. No player fully matched your bet. Interesting. Bench. They're cowgirls. A hundred bucks has been returned to me. Okay. Hey, four hundred bucks. <laughs> Shit. Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning, well, I heard, well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. <laughs> oh, Blythe. I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay, I trust you. Now play, as you wish. All right, so we gotta, we gotta bet again. So you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. <laughs> what a nice little quite school. the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. Is he talking I've got about my own little lawgiver right here? Very good. Next. After the mission, keep the we'll watch. All right, we'll do. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know. This guy's a racist. I well. think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. <laughs> this guy's xenophobic, too. Well, here we are. Oh, I love the riverboat. So what, am I gonna beat this guy, or? Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> With the safe. Idiot, huh? Shit, let's 
Let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand, plus the watch. Nice. Now, let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. Ah. Come on, Javier. Oh, we shot a guy. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. What are those two marks downstairs? Is that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? Swimming. I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, <laughs> garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. <laughs> nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I'd give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Oh. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! <laughs> Arthur! Come I hope this. you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> ah, look, there's your friend. friend is not a no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. <laughs> There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> So much for blending in! Oh no! Sorry, Trelawney! That wasn't Trelawney, was it? We need to get out of here. Oh, I'll give a suggest. I don't know. This ain't my sh Damn it. We gotta go. Come on. You won't make it out alive. Get in there. Alley up. I knew it. We're swimming. <laughs> Rockland says, as a high school teacher, I look forward to watching your streams uninterrupted for the indefinite future. That's one of the silver linings. Well, we have to look for silver linings in this time, my friend. And that's one of them. So I'm glad you're here. Never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently, it's worth a bunch of uh, Swiss, uh, a Reutlinger or something. It's probably nice fake. watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, <laughs> he come takes on, the let's bat. get out of here. Now the money's all wet, says Deadface. Yeah, but wet things do dry. As long as it's not counterfeit money, it'll be okay. Put it on a clothesline, let it air dry, it'll be good. Music is dramatic. Oh, silver medal! Oh, what did I? How did I get a silver, not the gold? Win the game of poker without Strauss's help. Really? After your cover is blown, escape the boat in under 35 seconds. Yes, that was Strauss. I know, I know. I got my names mixed up. I was in the middle of a gunfight. As there's things going in everywhere. Uh, how do I win the game of poker without Strauss's help? The point of the mission was to use his help, right? Gang savings cut 3,000. Wow, and I got 825 for doing the bulk of the work there. Well, that was fun.
My dead eye is shot. <laughs> I need to refill my dead eye cores. Uh, let's see. What can we do in town? Do I need to... I got my hair cut. I got a new suit of clothes. Actually, can I change out? Yes, I'm back in my regular scrub. Um, all right, that's it. And I'm not wanted. So it looks like we've got a quest back in Camp Sadie Adler. And we did the wanted poster in Rhodes, didn't we? Oh, no, there's another wanted poster in Rhodes. So we could do the Rhodes bounty, but we could do that at any time. Um, let's take care of our camp... Our camp one for now. I mean, I could hawk... Should I go to the fence and hawk the uh, watch? Maybe I should go to the fence and hawk the watch. Let's try that. If you think I shouldn't hawk the watch, let me know. Morning, mister. Howdy. Morning. Don't sell the watch, Oxhorn. You can equip it and use it. I can? How, how do you equip a watch? Refill your dead eye. All right. Uh, nothing refills dead eye better than a cigar. Actually, some booze might help. Let's see. We've got a uh, chocolate bar. That'll help a bit. Let's see. Fine brandy. Now, there you go. Don't sell the watch, says Cosmic Seb. Sell it, says Hey Death. You guys make this harder for me sometimes. I'm just saying. I love the fact that you're here, but you make it harder for me. Ethan says the watch is really pretty. It doesn't have a use beyond looking at, but it's really nice to look at. Open your inventory. All right. There's the watch. I can equip it. Valuable can be sold to a fence. I've equipped the watch. Okay, now that it's equipped, what do I do with it? There it is! It's equipped! Oh, so I can look at it to tell the time. Oh, it is gorgeous. Look at that watch. Well, maybe I'll keep it then. Need you now, girl. Oh, that's a handsome animal you have. Is there something you want to say? Move it now. Just trying to make my way down the street, ladies and gentlemen. I heard a couple of farmers saying your crops might be getting to fight again. All right. Uh, well, I don't want to sell it now that I've seen it. Now that, now that I've seen how pretty it is, I don't want to sell it. Let's go to Sadie. Do Sadie's quest. How do you do? Thank you, everybody, for blessing me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't mean to run you over. <laughs> oh, the street urchins are going to come after me if I'm not careful. Man, kids are scary in this game. What's this? I'm looking for Gavin. My no. Best friend. No. He left me. I lost him. I mean, I lost him. Someone must have seen an Englishman. <laughs> really funny he is. <laughs> hey, mister. Please, tell me you've seen Gavin. I don't even know what he looks like. Big bloke. Cockney. Londoner. Hilarious. 
<laughs> oh, we've had such times, me and Gav. <laughs> nope, sorry. I've yet to meet any hilarious Londoners. Oh, he's the best. Oh, good old Gavin. Gavin! Gavin! <laughs> he's calling for Gavin like he's a oh, I am so worried. Gav! <laughs> Gav! <laughs> Uh, Gav! He's distraught! Where are you? He's looking for a big, burly, cockney Where Londoner. Where are you? He's about to cry. Well, good luck finding Gavin, my friend. Gavin's friend. Come on. <laughs> it's the third time we've seen him, and he's still looking for friend Gavin. Oh, that's it. Gavin! Gav! In! Gav! In! Where the hell are you? <laughs> oh, that's true friendship right there. Man, he really misses his friend. These days ain't short. Okay, back to camp. You know, I have to say, I'm not uh, fond of the new house that we have. Everything is stored on multiple levels. It's harder to ah, find your way. Side. Oh, are you Gavin's friend? If you cross me, I will cut you down. Just leave it, okay? I don't want to get in a fight over this. I'm warning you, damn it! Not worth it! I will uh, put you in the dirt to stay! Oh, really? Can you... That's right! And you tell them no one messes with the Lamont Raiders! Do we kill this guy? He's a raider. Are we gonna get away with it? Oh, oh sorry. Alright, um... I swear, you all are getting dumber. Tell that. Hey, partner. Whoa. Oh. He was a raider, doggone it! He was a Lemoyne raider! I killed a raider! It wasn't murder. Well, I mean, it was murder. But he was a raider! Oh, for Pete's sake! Why did I do that? Why did I do that? It was... Alligator. <laughs> if you antagonize him, then he attacks you. Then you can legally kill him since it's self-defense, says Deadface. He was walking towards me. 
But then again, he did go back to the fence. Are those skulls on a pole? Well, what have I stumbled into here? Ooh, what is this place? Remember your mask, ox! Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next time I plan on murder, I'll remember my axe. What have we here? An abandoned town. An abandoned little, um, fishing town. Well, I better go pay my bounty. Jim Bobway says, Gators got some good meat. Craft with herbs to get golden cores, depending on which ones. Good tip, thank you. Well, it doesn't look like there's much here. Ethan H. says, There's a sunken church in this town. Go inside of it and search it. There's something cool here. Oh, okay. A sunken church, eh? Crackers, canned fruit. Alright, let's see if we can find this sunken church Ethan was talking about. You discovered a, the location of legendary fish. Someone living near Flatiron Lake is known for their interest in fish. Oh, I could I could fish for a legendary fish. Here's the sunken building. Is this the church? Ooh, it's in the mud. Not much I can get in there. I'm not finding a church, though. Potent health cure. It looks like an old farmstead. Hey, what's this? Nope, I want the card. Cigarette card. No, cigarette card. There we go. No, that building was the right one. Oh, okay. All right, I'll go back. Ooh, we got a lot of melted candle candles here. Hello. Potent miracle tonic. Nothing else in the cabinetry. Crouch to get inside. All right, I will try again. Canned vegetables. Canned salmon, always a good thing. Okay, back to the uh, sunken church. Cigarettes, guess I better smoke the ones I have.
Okay, you guys have me curious and also slightly concerned. What am I gonna find in here? Ah! Cat skull mask? Ooh. What? So that's cool. I've got a cat skull mask now. Probably get strange comments if I wear this around St. Denis. Okay. Uh, well, I just got myself in a heap of trouble. Let's go back to St. Denis and pay off my bounty. <clears throat> then, let's go to Tilly. Actually, what would be better? I mean, I could go to Rhodes. Let's go to Rhodes to pay off the bounty. And while we're there, maybe we can go get that. Ooh, what? Easy. Oh, yuck. Uh oh. Yeah. The snakes are coming for me. I was like. I was looking at the corpse. Oh, wow. Not snakes. Nope. What was that? Holy cow! So <laughs> Alright, before we do anything, let's refill our dead eye core. My goodness. Um Well, with some booze first. Actually here. There we go. <laughs> What was this all about? Oh. They're like zombie people. There was another one I killed over here, right? Yeah. What the heck? Tony J says, I'm not sure if you'll get wanted after the Sadie mission, Oxhorn, but go ahead and do it before paying the bounty. You think that's best? Well, that may be a good, uh, that may be smart. Uh, well, strange things happen that's in the bayou, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> as I think we just learned. So these, uh, 
these swamp people strung up this poor guy. Oh, his body is gone now. That was the tree. You see it's red, coated with blood? That's the same tree, right? Or was it down here? No, there are a couple of trees that are covered red. I think the body's gone, though. I don't see it anywhere. Holy cow, they rushed me. I thought they were snakes at first. And I was just going to run on out there. But no, it was swamp people. What happened to the body? That's what I want to know. <clears throat> Jim Bob says, uh, travel the swamps at night for a stranger mission. Okay, will do. Uh, so, but first, I'll go ahead and do what the chat suggests, and we'll do the Sadie mission, even though I'm wanted right now, because per perhaps it'll take me either closer to Rhodes, or I'll get wanted again, and I'll have to pay off a bounty. So that's smart. That's smart. We'll just go to Sadie. Yeah. What was that? Okay, girl. Something raced at me after, after, out of the bushes there. Uh, let's let's feed the horse. I'm sure the horse wants something to eat. Bale hay. Okay, girl. Melina Richard yeah. says that was some stiff opposition, Oxhorn. Well, they're stiffs now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I suppose that was the pun. Oh, it's you. Come here, please. You can see the bind I'm in. I need help again. Come on. Again? Okay, okay, fine. I know this doesn't look good. But I swear I didn't do nothing wrong. You can't stay out of trouble, can you? Just shoot the shackles. One bullet. That's all. You helped me before. It just cost you one round. All right, I'll do my best. All right. God, Second time yes. is a charm. I can't believe it. Oh, I thought they were never coming off this time. Listen, buddy, I ain't got a red cent for you, and I feel terrible. But I did overhear something of interest. Yeah? You know Ansberg? Well, some la di da rich folks bought up a little cabin up north of there. Very remote. You get me? What? I look the type for all that, huh? That's up to you, friend. Robbery tip. Hmm. <laughs> So this added a task. I still haven't found his pipe. <laughs> oh, I have all of these tasks. Catfish Jackson. I think I've got another house robbery. Home robbery, Rocky Seven and Catfish Jackson. Well, if I ever run out of quests, I can always do those. Is it night? Oh no, I'm night in the swamps. Uh -oh. If a stranger mission pops up, I'll take a look at it. Oh, wait. I need to zoom out the map, though, to see if a stranger mission appears in the swamps. I don't see one just yet. I was up here. This is that legendary fish. That's the guy who wants to buy a legendary fish. And there's the legendary fish right there. So if I ever get some, uh, some uh, proper bait, I can uh, go here and get the legendary fish. Okay. <laughs> To Sadie.
Sean Fornango says, I believe those people are called ghost people. They always do that. They wait for ambushes. Well, they sure were pale like ghosts. So it is a suitable name. Almost there. Ryan says the story will take you to Catfish Jackson. Don't bother beforehand. All right. Well, then I'll just follow the main story. Who's that? Arthur. Hope you had a good old time while I've been stuck standing here. <laughs> That's it, girl. All right, let's hitch on up. You work hard, girl. That's where you get the bait from Catfish Jackson. Okay. Arthur, Arthur get over here. Who says that? <laughs> what is it, Uncle? Go rustling. Ah. Uh. Coach robbery with Micah. Wrestling with Uncle. Or I can do the main quest. Can I always do wrestling with Uncle? Shady Bell, Uncle and Arthur head to Hillhaven Ranch and rustle some cattle to sell to Clay and Clive for cash. This coach robbery, is that timed? This one appears like it's always available. I don't like Micah. There's ghosts in the swamp. Ghosts. I saw them. There's ghosts in your head, Reverend. Ghosts. Ghosts. I saw a ghost. A young woman. You've lost your mind. I don't. You poor bastard. I just killed ghosts in the swamp. Where is he? Can he tell me? Where'd he go? Hello, Dad. See, this is why I hate this new camp. It's so sprawling. I want the Reverend Uncle. to tell me. Go with Uncle, it seems fun. You should do white missions before yellow. Uh, just Chris with a $30 tip. Thank you very much. Never got the wrestling mission. Both are available in this chapter only. Okay. <clears throat> well, then let's go wrestling. If they're available now and only now, I'll take advantage of it. Get over here. You can find the ghost. Oh, it's are. in the swamp. Oh, don't be like that. This is a good one. Yeah, it always is with you. Until we start getting shot at. Well, have you ever been shot at by a cow? Whose cows? It's a drunken rancher up at Hill Haven Ranch. He's such a flop that we could take a whole marching band up there and steal, and he still wouldn't wake up. And he's a son of a bitch. He said unkind things about me. No, he ain't all bad then. I, I owe you after last time. <laughs> this could be my make good. I don't know. I need you. You know those two bastards that buy stolen livestock. Sure, I know them. I don't like them. <clears throat> I'll give you 60% of the take. How many cows? I don't know. Small herd, I guess. 20, maybe? 20, huh? Come on. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> We're going wrestling okay, with Uncle. Let's mount up. All right, Uncle, I'll follow you. So where's this ranch? It's right in the middle of Scarlet Meadows, just past the road's turn off. Yeah. Faith says you need so to encounter more of those night folk to unlock a stranger mission. The saloon and roads a bit. Then look for it at night time. Yeah, the, the barkeep there gossips oh. like a fish wire. 
And a couple of times he's mentioned how this rancher's a fall-down drunk these days. Sounds like he don't know his ass from his armpit half the time. <laughs> you sure you ought to be hanging around Rhodes after everything that happened? What do you mean? I mean, that ain't gonna do your health no good if they find out you ride with us. Nah, it's fine. I was never there at the same time as you boys. And they'd never reckon on a distinguished old feller like me, running with a bunch of reprobates. Well, <laughs> just be careful. Yep. How old are you, anyway? Well, let's just say I was born sometime between the fall of 49 and the fall of Rome. <laughs> <laughs> now, my second wife always used to describe me as ageless, though she did leave me for a younger man. Mm. Well, maybe we should cut you open and count the rings of whiskey. Now, I'm ready for my retirement, though. <laughs> Let me tell you. You've been pretty much retired from the moment I met you. Now, I mean the tropics, you know, the real deal. What Dutch is talking about. That's why I jumped on this opportunity. The sooner we get enough money to leave, the better. Dancing girls with flowers in their hair, warm sand, cold beer. <laughs> That's how I'm going to see out my days. Aren't well, we all? I'll believe it when I see it. Pyroman says, Oxhorn, the ghost spawns between We're the B and the one. L in Blackwater at 3 a.m. Ooh, good tip. But do I have to meet the night folk first? More night folk? All right. Let's get up there on foot from here. Don't want the horses clopping around outside the window. Come on, let's take a closer look. Oh, shit. Look over there. The hell? Who are these clowns? I don't know. This is the first time I ever seen it. Well, I left my binoculars on my horse. No one else here. Let's sneak up closer. What? Where the hell are you going? I think I got a plan. Okay. How are my cores? <laughs> Hurry up. They're okay. I'm doing the best I can. So shut up. Hurry up. And be quiet. Ow. You said he was a drunkard. You said that, that we could play the fiddle and we wouldn't wake him. I was talking in a metaphor. Now hurry up. Oh, what's a metaphor? You're a jackass. That's a metaphor. Oh, you're a son of a bitch. Well, that ain't one. Now, now, now get back to looking out. And shut up. So, what now? I, I thought you had a plan. I ain't so sure now. Oh, great. I'll take care of him. You hear that? It ain't nothing. Oh, I heard something. Hurry up. How can I hear anything with all your speaking? You are gonna wake him up. Oh, oh. I'm doing the best I can. Okay, this here is a rusty padlock. Hurry up. You do it. You think you could do it faster? Shut up. Shut up and get to it. You are gonna wake up old Squeers. Oh, he's a drunkard. He's never gonna wake up. Turn around. Shit. And put your hands up in the air. What are you doing, boys? Nothing. You know, we kill rustlers around these parts. Well, now, just wait. I'll give you till the count of five to get the hell out of here. One, two, let's go. Mm -hmm. Three, four. No good, cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> that was their parting. Shoot the padlock. Really? Isn't that noise? Loud. Yeah, well, we ain't got time. You said he ain't gonna wake up, and we ain't seen him yet. I'll get him out, right up next to the house to keep him from running off on us. Got it. Uh, all right. Encourage the cows to leave. Come on. Up, up. Move it.
Come on, cows, move! You too, cow! Move! And you! Get on out! Go, go! That's right! Let's go! Move it up! And you! What the, what the hell? I'm being robbed! Damn you, goddamn robbers! Come! <laughs> he knocked himself out! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Oh. Herd animals will move in behind the group and encourage them to go in the desired direction. Keep moving! Shout at the herd and press F to make it move faster. All right. When aiming your gun, point it in the air by pressing whoa, U and shoot whoa. to make the herd move faster. Okay. Move it. Now this don't seem to be going right. Let me help out. An animal may break away from the group or be left behind. They will turn into a straggler and no longer move with the rest of the group. All right. Go, cow! Time Be careful. wait with the herd. I'll round up the stragglers. You keep going. All right, you round them up. That's fine. Whoops! Didn't mean to shoot oh. you. Come on now. I'll stick with the herd till you catch up. The brothers, the brothers were scared away. The brothers were scared away. What brothers? The guys I'm selling them to. What does that even mean? The brothers were scared away. Oh, cause I shot my gun, but they told me to shoot my gun. All right, well, I won't shoot my gun then, I guess. Thanks for that tip, Rockstar. Ooh. Let's go. There we go. Okay. Uh, we've got a traffic jam here. I'm trying to talk to the brothers here, but I can't. I can only aim my weapon. Come on, cow. Okay, so I can't herd anymore. There we go. They're all inside. And the final one. And I can't walk any further. Why? 
what? I'm here. There we go. <coughs> well, hey there. What you got? Cattle. Well, I can see that. Whose cattle? Yours now, if the price is right. Well, I can give you uh, 50 bucks. Okay. 50 bucks each times uh, 20 cattle. No, no, 50 total. This is old Squeer's cattle. He knows me. I can't do better than that. I'll have to move them right away. We'll take 200, friend. But I got costs. Mm. 150. 75 and not a dollar more. 100. And I don't shoot you. <laughs> so menacing. Clyde, well, pay your friend here. <laughs> <sighs> A hundred bucks for all of that? <clears throat> Bye now. Be careful out there. This is nasty country. Hey, don't forget to put some in the pot. Oh, of course. <laughs> like I told you, easy. Sure, I guess. I'm headed home. You coming? Nah, I'll see you later. Well, all right, well, we got Thanks it done. With this, Arthur. 60 bucks. Hey, mission complete. Did I get a bronze or a gold? I can't tell the difference. I got a gold. No mission brief. Wow. All right. All right, so we wrestled the cattle with Uncle. What are these? Oh, there are two bounty hunters on our tail. On my tail. Um, looks like I can't do anything like, hmm. I had my gun out. Dog on bounty hunters. All right, now will things show up in camp? Yeah. All right, so I had to kill the bounty hunters before uh, the quest would show up in camp. Actually, I should probably loot them, huh? Now, I did see a new quest that appeared on my map. Um, way over here. What's this? Eagle Flies, American Fathers Part 2. Rain Fall has asked you to meet his son, Eagle Flies, to steal some documents from Cornwall Kerosene and Tar. That's right. I remember seeing that in the middle of St. Denis. Ox get better guns, says homie kitten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In all, in all good time. Rachel says, what condition are you and your horse at? Uh, I don't know. Player, Arthur, 
I'm underweight. Uh, I'm underweight. So I guess I'm not that good. Let's see what my horse is. Clean and calm. So I should probably eat some food. Corned beef. There we go. There are new guns in St. Denis. E Ethan says, yeah, you should probably do that mission. I think Eagle Fly's missions aren't missable. Well, it is a yellow mission, so that's a, um... <clears throat> that's a major quest mission, and it's way up here by Valentine. Oh, wow. Uh... And I'm all the way over here in Rhodes. Let's go to Rhodes, pay off our bounty. And then decide what to do. Rachel says, also, did you ever go to the Alien Mountain? No, there's the, the entire western part of the map that I haven't been to yet. I'm assuming the quests will take me there eventually, at which time I'll be able to explore the Alien Mountain. Make camp and fast travel to Shady Bell. Well, let me go to Rhodes first. Take care of stuff there, then I may do that. Because we are here yeah. today for a very <laughs> special occasion. Yeah. Oh. It is <laughs> important that we reestablish sanity yeah. and supremacy before it is too late. Our numbers are waning, thanks to the fools in Congress Ooh, and their ludicrous Yo. ideas. Damn! Hell with it. But today, we grow one yeah. strong yeah. Yeah. as we that anoint day. a new brother oh. yeah. into oh. our oh. sacred cause. <laughs> hey. step yeah. forward and kneel. Right. Hey. Do you choose? To accept the light? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah! Very much. Woo! All right. Come on. Yeah. There we go. The eternal ah. light shine. Yeah! Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh, my gosh. Do I have explosives? Oh, they didn't. Wait, where y'all going? Come back. Oh, they did it to themselves. <laughs> they burned themselves. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, hello there. You there? You just stood and watched a good man die, and did nothing. That went about as well as I'd expect. You think maybe it's a sign? You petty, small-minded fool. You and your kind will be the end of this country. Ah, oh, yeah. See, I'm thinking of doing everyone a favor and putting a bullet in your head. You dirty son of a bitch! I'll show you! <laughs> Ah, oh, come on. Your moral weakness is showing. Ah. Uh. 
Next time, avoid me. I need to learn how to fist fight, because that didn't go as well as I thought it would. I'll kill all you bastards. Meeting notes, inspect document. Uh, Lemoyne State Chapter, quarterly meeting notes, attendee is six. All official titles to be changed again requires a new meeting. As the member formerly known as Secretary Senior, I shall now be known as Grandiose Scribe. <laughs> uh, my assistant will now be known as Grandiose Scribe. Senior Warlock will now be known as Grand Satir. Satir. Other job titles up for discussion at meeting requested above. Job title of Kaiser remains banned as per meeting of, of August last. Question for open discussion. Is there a way to make the robes less flammable? <laughs> Acceptable food for Grand Satir's surprise birthday dinner? French? Possible. Spanish? Definitely no. Membership dues, 87% under quarterly target again. Ideas for new initiates need to be canvassed from members. Tarring and feathering was not popular with wives. Need to focus on recruitment drive again. Need to find all of the brilliant and talented men in our community who have something to give to our cause. Discussion point, are there any brilliant and talented men left? Wooden crosses heavy and expensive. Other religious symbols to burn as a demonstration of our deep religiosity? Female members still affirm no. Still need brilliant and talented men who want to wear hoods and discuss eugenics in their spare time. Somebody needs to review that pamphlet written by Norse Forsyth. Has anybody read it? Yeah, I did. Disappointing attendance numbers again. Members who fail to attend will be punished. Most grandiose scribe, Wesley P. Kellett. Wow. Well, this is awful. Ox, you need to increase your unarmed skill. Looks that way. Ooh, they got toasted. Nasty way to go. See, it's stuff like this that you miss if all you do is fast travel everywhere. Yeah, you're all right, girl. Wish whiskey grew on trees. You have unopened mail or parcels. You can pick them up at the post office. Is that right? How do you do, sir? Well, howdy. Don't rush me. I'll get to you. Hello. <laughs> well, hello again. I got another one. You interested? How's things, Alden? Good. All right. This is a little different. Take the coach and deliver it to my contact. He'll pay you well for it. It's a fragile cargo, so go easy. Okay. But the money best be right. Oh, it is, Arthur. I promise it's very right. Head north up the road past Face Rock. Mm-hmm. Wagon full of antiques coming from the northeast headed for a buyer in Rhodes. Should only be a couple of guards. Deliver to Seamus at Emerald Ranch. Careful not to damage the wagon or the cargo. Head north up the road past Face Rock. Hmm. Letter from Charles Chatternay and letter from Mayor Lemoon. Invitation from uh, Mayor Lemoy. Lemieux? 
May 1899, Monsieur Kilgore. It was lovely to make your acquaintance at the residence the other night. You meet so many people at these kind of functions, it's hard to keep track. I did notice, however, that you were near my study when poor Pierre had an accident and some documents simply disappeared. Now, I have spent far too long in politics to make accusations wildly, but just long enough to know when I am owed a small favor. Perhaps your gung-ho frontier spirit and my cold old world cynicism could work quite well together. Indulge me in a meeting at least. Come to the back of the mayoral residence any night you wish. Knock on the door and my assistant, Jean-Marc, will let you in. I hope to see you soon, your newest friend, Henry Lemou. Lemo, Lemois. And then we've got this one. Ah, I'm going to scroll up. Letter from Charles Chatenay. <laughs> yes. Mon cher ami, I made it. I have the sun on my face, sand between my toes, and a beautiful vine, vahin, vahin in my bed. The islands are everything I thought they would be, and more. You would not believe the light and the colors and the people here. So much bigger and more alive than anything or anyone in Saint-Denis. It feels like a world away, which of course it is. You may be surprised, but you are my only true friend from those dark, dreary days. You did not ask for anything. You only gave. How perfect. How rare. I detest selfish asses more than civilization itself. But what is civilization really but organized selfishness? I must constrain my most primal and vital desire so you may be comfortable. Pah! No merci. The island paradise is what the civilized world would call primitive. But in people, but the people here are the most generous, in ways I may not put into words, I have met. Why is this? Because they are free. I have never painted like I paint now. It is work the likes of which has never been seen. Before I sent this, I shipped some canvases to, to New York to be sold. Perhaps if you own that little scribble, it may be worth something now. Either that or laugh at my ineptitude. Yours always, CC. Well, golly, uh, there's a lot to do. And we got a bounty over here. Hunter's sought. Or no. Yeah. So, how are you? Hunter's sought. If you are proficient with a gun or arrow, we seek animals for a wildlife art exhibition. Specimens must be in perfect condition. Low caliber kills only. Oh, God. Ship at our expense the following. One adult rabbit, one average squirrel. Send to the attention of Ms. L. Hobbs in Strawberry. Bounty poster. Mail the requested animals at a post office to get small animal carcasses. You'll need to use a small game arrow or the varmint rifle. Uh, okay. The varmint rifle can be purchased at any gunsmith. Use crafting tools or set up a camp to make small game arrows. Wanted $25 reward Mark Johnson for stage and train robberies who evaded capture years ago and is still at large. He is to be captured alive, last seen in the region of Siltwater Strand. For reward collections, contact H. Thomas Rhodes Sheriff Office. I happen to know that feller is farming the swamp, or trying to, up by Siltwater Strand. He's a bad egg. Fancy that. I seen them coming and going here, and I never had an inkling. Locate Mark Johnson at Siltwater Strand. Okay, so. Bounty hunting, Mark Johnson. Stagecoach. Which to do first? And then we've got Jim Boy Calloway, the noblest of men and women. You've dealt with all the gunslingers. Go to Calloway and Levin with the findings. Oh, so much to do. Uh, okay, well, the oh, and then there's this. Henry Lemu. Oh, that's the note we just got. Um, <laughs> let's go get the bounty. Bounty first, $25 reward. Not too bad. Let me get a cigar. Well, 
one step at a time. And we will eventually whittle away at everything. The stagecoach robbery only lasts a couple of hours. Oh. The coach is moving. Okay. So we got to do the stagecoach then. Okay, well, we'll do that. If it's coming this way, and I'm going that way, then it should get up upon us uh, pretty doggone quickly. I don't want to overshoot it. Raiders, man. And I'm in the middle of trying to do a stagecoach robbery so I don't have time to loot their bodies. Ugh. Okay. So, the bounty is closer. But you say that this one is timed? Yep. <laughs> I need to I need to increase my core. It spins Deadeye, but multiple tagging works. That's true, Rockland. Thank you very much. If I can get a headshot off with each Deadeye, though, then I save ammunition and Deadeye. <clears throat> it's tricky. I don't always do it, but that's what I try. Mindbest says, oh my god, I finally caught an Oxhorn stream. That you did, my friend. All right, here's the stagecoach. Wait for the wagon to arrive. And the last time this happened, I waited to try and talk them out of it. There we go. And it didn't work. I had to open fire because they opened fire on me.
Bandana Ox. Good call. Where is it? Will I lose honor for looting these bodies? It, the honor system is so crazy. I'm killing, murdering these people. Not losing honor. But I lose honor by looting bodies. Ooh, look at that. We've got statues in the back. That's interesting. And artwork. Deliver the wagon to the fence. Oh, and we got to turn around. Uh, sorry, fellas. Going to have to run over your corpses here. Drive carefully to avoid damaging the cargo. All right. Bottom left in items. That's where your bandana is. Thank you, Torn. Bottom left in items. Ah. This wagon is so cumbersome. Okay, there. There we go. All right, drive carefully. I don't want to damage these statues and the uh, painting, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna kick up a, a dust here. Let's see how far do I have to go. Oh no, <laughs> I've got a long way to go. There's a shortcut here, but that's probably off the beaten path, which might get everything all messed up. So. Let's just do it the long way. I know it's going to be a long drive, but it's safer. Where's my hat? Shortcut it, they won't get broken. I mean, the game is telling me to avoid damaging everything. Your hat is on your horse. Thank you. Yeah, I figured that out. I, uh, I'll have to wait to get back on my horse to switch out my hat. Jim Pickens with a tip. Thank you very much, Jim. Cinematic mode? I don't think cinematic mode works. Oh, it, it does. Okay. So I'll just do cinematic mode and hope for the best. That nothing gets damaged. Oh, 
Oh, that is better. It's not dependent on my horrible driving. You'd think they would have packaged these statues a bit better. Did he tell me to hold? No. No, come on, why'd you stop? Oh, that's a little fast. A little fast. There, that's better. Why did it stop? Okay, cinematic mode is goofing up on me. Who's that slinking about this way? Every time. So I need to take off my bandana because I'm freaking people out. Break the statues. Ooh. Ooh. We're almost there. like this. You got horse shit for brains. Sorry. I told you to get the hell away from me. Let's go. You might be interested in this. They're a war on I don't know about. How the hell you get it so beat up? Spend it wisely. I was so careful. So long. Coach Robbery, bronze. Folk here got no time for masks. And I still have my mask on for some for some reason. All right, well, I got it done. Come on. Ox, that one was entirely on you. Well, he was going so slow. He was in the middle of the road. Okay. Now, we need to get the bounty. And we can't take a stagecoach there. So, let's ride there. You hit the guy. Is that is that what it was? They put this slow guy in my path just so that I get a, a bronze on there. Okay. 
from the wagon sir transporting a fugitive yeah 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 I'll mind my own business you mind yours All right, well, the uh, bounty has appeared on my mini-map. I'm closing in. There we go. Locate Mark Johnson. He's wanted alive. Whoa, easy. Good work, girl. All right, where is he? Sleeping in his tent? We ain't going till you get this right. I can't, Daddy, please. Let him in. He's been trying for hours. He ain't no kind of man till he can get on a horse. <laughs> I can't do it, Daddy. He's spent. Let him rest. My son ain't no quitter. Do it again, boy. What? What? I've got to do this in front of his wife and kid? <laughs> My arms are like rope. Leave it, Billy, please. He ain't trying, is all. Again, boy. I'm beat. Look at him. He's worn through. He will be if he don't get up there. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry, Pop. I'm... Oh, the boy's crying. I ain't raising no goddamn sissy. Okay, okay, you'll get there next try. How long does this keep going? <gasps> They're here for your bounty. <gasps> Come to mama, boy. <gasps> Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. We knew you was coming. I got something to ask. I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. 
Make it quick. You're a forgiven man. Stop! Boy. Boy, come here. Listen. Oh. Exactly as I say. You hear? No, don't I leave. I ain't gonna fine. fight you in front of my family. Okay? Okay. If you want to take me, take me. Come on then. Okay now. Leave my daddy alone. Billy, leave it. Don't look away, boy. You remember this moment. You're the man now. Be a man, boy. Gosh, this is awful. You're coming with me. I love you, Daddy. This is awful. Just remember what I said, boy. It's just us now, son. It's just us. Oh my God. <laughs> This is awful. <laughs> All right. This is what we're doing now. Well, I wonder what he has to say. Johnson. Johnson. What? Just be real quiet back there. Most captured men, they beg or they cry or they rail against fate. Love made my peace. Okay. <laughs> that son of a bitch. Come back. So then what was that all about? Looking brave in front of the family? Or did he want to get rid of the family somehow? And he thought that this was a great way to do so? Have them watch him get apprehended by a bounty hunter? Could have got your neck broke. Premature. There he is. Like the boy said. Let him go back to his family. Or you're going to have trouble with us. Oh, great. Yeah. Whoa. You're mine. Easy, easy. This what you want? They're still behind me. Are they following me? No way out for you now. all your friends, ain't it? You shouldn't have done that. And now look what's happened. Dead because of you. Hold on. Won't I be long to wear them rights. Whoops, he talked over himself a bit there. No option to hit him either. This is Rhodes. You're almost shot of me. I'm ready. I hope they make it quick. Whoa, shit! Alright, let's go. 
Well, they were really tugging at my heartstrings there at the beginning, but now I don't feel so sorry for him. He had this sort of planned out, didn't he? Outlaw friends and everything. Oh, Found this feller on a small holding. Name's Mark Johnson. You can only run so long, son. There's your cell. You're lucky it's not a grave. I was out to buy you. Wasn't hurting no one. Maybe you weren't, but those partners of yours were a rough bunch. Go to hell. Goodness. <laughs> That's the price for Johnson. I didn't take it, someone else would have. That's true. You tell yourself that, bounty hunter. You ain't whiter than white. I hope your past catches up with you. I built a home. Mark Johnson, who has repeatedly avoided justice, is wanted alive for the crimes of train and stagecoach robbery. $25 reward, it offered in, uh, reward offered in Rhodes. Out in godforsaken country. Land no one would want. I made amends, I promise. I'm not listening. We'll be offering a price on another outlaw very soon. Check the station presently. Josh says, according to chat, you can save him from hanging. Is that true? I swear I'm a good man now, Sheriff. I got a son. Everyone's got a sob story, Johnson. Interesting. Well, I wonder if they're going to let me know, give me a notification when his hanging is scheduled so that I can do something if I want to. Oh, well, that was a tough one. All right. Uh, what's, we've been trying to get to Sadie for how long now? Well, let's finally get back and get to Sadie. If you go at the right time, you can release him. Make camp and fast travel to Shady Bell. Okay. Well, let's do that. Nicholas says, Ox, do the mission for the Native Americans, please. What could go wrong? Good point. Shady Bell. Now we do need to do that one. And there's something waiting for us in Valentine, Jim Boy Calloway. Let's do Sadie's and we'll see how much time we have afterwards. All right, so I've got some people in chat saying that I can't save him. All I'll do is lose a bunch of honor. 
Well, which is it, guys? Oh, so you saw a ghost? Swanson. Oh, hello, Arthur. No, he's not going to talk about it now. All right, Sh uh, Sadie. What you got for me? How you doing, Mrs. Edler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. Oh, Lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Uh, Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? Oh! It's what the hell have they done to me? Look, they're in the tree line. Everybody take cover! The Driscoll boys are coming! Well, didn't expect that. Crickets! Holy cow!
What in the blaze is this going on here? <laughs> oh. Get back into the mansion, everyone is saying. Yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna have to do. Did they just keep coming and coming? Windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side doors there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go! Jump through the window and find Sadie. Oh. Goodness gracious! Why didn't you get inside? And miss all this? Come on, Arthur! Now we go back. 
We need you in the house, Mrs. Sadler. Ah! So, except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Goodness gracious. Homo Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. <sighs> Shall we? Yep. Oh, Kiernan. He saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. <laughs> That's what love has done to her, I guess. Oh, okay, well, I got a bronze medal there. How exactly did I fail that? Shoot the Adriscals in the boat before they disembark. Okay, complete using only sidearms. Complete with at least 70% accuracy. Get 15 headshots. Complete the mission without taking any health items. Great. Well, that would have been a tough one. So poor no Kiernan, we rescued no him man. from the Odriscolls, and the Odriscolls killed him for his treachery. How exactly did that happen? Okay, uh... Oh, Arthur, I can't believe those pigs did that to him. To Kieran? He was such a gentle soul. Yeah, he saved my life one time. I'll miss him. You make the bastards pay, Arthur. If we get the chance, we surely shall. Oh, things to do this morning. Uncle. Okay, well, Dutch wants me to meet him upstairs. Oh, no, he wants me to meet him in St. Denis. But then I've got all of this stuff going over here. Instead of following the main quest, let's go do the Eagle Flies. Hey. Uh, we haven't donated to camp in a while. Let's go do that. It's flickering on my screen. <laughs> Hi. Good morning. Oh, she looks rough. 
It'll be okay, Molly. Okay? How is any of this okay? Karen and Sean are dead. Dutch is hardly speaking to me. I don't know what to tell you. Good morning. You all right? Yeah. That was quite a mess to clean up. Yeah, in every sense. You okay? Yes. Just thinking about Karen. Guess uh, he was always living on borrowed time. Maybe. Poor guy. Brett Bus says that Eagle Flies disappears if you do Dutch first. Okay. Uh, I guess we need to save Dutch for last. Fast travel near Eagle Flies. All right, will do. Let's go deposit into our camp, do our duty as a member of this gang, and then we'll head to do Eagle Flies. Give money and 20 bucks. Hello. All right, now let's go fast travel. Actually, we should probably loot up on ammunition. That took a lot of ammo. Where's my room? It's over here, isn't it? Well, now exactly what did I spend? That's pomade. Is that it? Yeah, I think I'm still I'm stocked up on everything else. Now here we go. Repeater cartridges. All right, fast travel. Cornwall, kerosene, and tar. That's where we're going, right? Hold on, let me check my map. Cornwall, kerosene, and tar. That side mission in Valentine is just a single cutscene, so do that while you're there. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's right. Maybe I should do that first before Eagle flies. That's what Nicholas says. Valentine first, then Cornwall. Okay, so there's where we're meeting uh, Eagle Flies at Citadel Rock. Let's go to Valentine first. Yeah. I love how diverse the uh, biomes are. The landscapes are very different from town to town. Okay, that's where we're meeting Eagle Flies. I'll wait on that just a second. 
Hang tight, fellas. I'll be with you in a minute. Going to Valentine real quick. Then we need to meet the mayor at the back of his mansion inside St. Denis. If uh, going back to Dutch really advances the story, we should probably take care of all of this stuff before moving on. This guy again. Hey, buddy. Can I get a buck, mister? easy <laughs> come on girl good weather for making hay say that again hello there Horse there. All right, we'll hitch up right outside the saloon. Well, the other day I seen some poor bastard get bushwhacked by a group of street rats, swarmed on him like a pack of wolves. Gets worse every day, don't it? Yeah, up, girl. Ah. Hey there, doggy. Oh, this ain't good, partner. Careful, big man. How you do? Hey, I'm looking for some fellas sojourned around here. Boy Calloway and a rider called Levin. Drunk Boy Calloway. This bar's got bullet marks to remember him by. Ooh. Last I heard, they was in Saint Denis. Really? Had rooms on a riverboat there. Saint Denis on a riverboat? Oh, okay then. Oh, great. I wouldn't drink here, though. Get on to Sam Denis and have you some Sazerac. If there's anything else I can do, you let me know. That's it. <laughs> I guess Just I should have... Uh, way. Watch it now. I guess I should have done that Hello, before sir. doing the riverboat quest. Okay, to Eagle Flies. Now well, let's take care of our horse. Seems to be getting tired. Bail hay. Then let's brush him up real good. Come on, girl. There we go. Now to Eagle Flies. Ox, this wasn't available before the riverboat quest. It says random dude. I see. I wonder if having robbed the riverboat, we're going to get in trouble, but we go meet our friend there. We'll find out. Why is he getting so agitated? Because of that cliff edge? You came. Of course I came. 
Shadowwood. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Okay, infiltration time. Under cover of rainstorm. Ethan H. says this is a stealth mission, but it's highly scripted. Just follow the markers and you can't be detected. Okay. I'll do my best. Is that you, Al? Hey, Tom. Picking up? Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on, then. Start loading up. Oh, this may have been a mistake. Can I get in through that window, though? No, I guess I can't. Uh, I really have to... Danbury destroyed the document, so they saw me through the window. If you are quick... Oh, you come on. climb into the back of that wagon. I didn't see a red marker on the other side of that window. Anybody looking through it? Ethan H says, I told you it's highly scripted. No room for creativeness. All right. Is that you, Al? Hey, Tom. Picking up? Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then.
I just felt it was kind of weird that uh, we have to go through this main door if we're trying to be stealthy. Joseph right. says, just sneak across the first up. floor and up the stairs and across the second floor. Yeah, I guess that's what I'll have to do. Guess I'm just grateful they all had their backs turned. And that guy's looking out a window. Great. friend this won't take long <laughs> Dan Barry yes I need some papers my friend nothing important a file I'm from head office you're not from head office does that seem important right now no I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I... I... Danbury, think, man. A mind is a terrible thing to lose, especially over <laughs> such a nice I... floor as this. It's here, it's here. Done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No, nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just. I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Fellas. Now, we won't tell you again. You'll be sorry! So much for a stealth mission. Make your pace. Come on, Arthur. Ah. Did you get the documents? 
I didn't kill the horse, did I? The explosion came just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? <laughs> yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. All right. Bronze medal. No, gold medal. Yay! I'm so used to getting bronze that I thought... <laughs> That I thought that I'd, I messed this up. Infiltrate the factory by hiding in the wagon. Reach Dunbarry's office without being detected. Kill all the horseback pursuers during the escape. Complete with at least 80% accuracy. All right. Gang savings cut. 125. My own 137. Sweet. Where's my horse? There he is. <laughs> All right, well now what's this? Stranger, okay, <laughs> let's do it. Yeah. I see a campfire. for a moment. The name's William. Well, howdy there, William. Arthur, you familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all, to know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness. Beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. Give plants. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. 
What next? All this help? You deserve something in return. Well, this is for your horse, actually. Cool. Save it for bad injuries. Heaven forbid your horse is in trouble. You'll be glad you had it. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, Traveler. Great. New Cavalry says, again, where's my horse? Get the shirt. Hint, hint. Oh, my friend, that sounds like a fine shirt idea. I bet you you could make a shirt like that yourself. All right. Let's go, girl. Well, we got some horse remedy. Our horse is probably pleased for that. Now. We got a couple of things in St. Denis. Henry Lemieux. The mayor and then Jim Boy Calloway. We got to meet them. Tell you what, let's fast travel with our camp. Let's go find a place to set up camp. Yeah. There we go. And uh, to Saint Denis. All right, I'm gonna use this opportunity for a bio break. I'll be right back. Might as well refill my coffee while I'm out.
Thank you for your patience. Back in town. Got myself a brand new coffee. Hopefully Arthur behaved himself while I was away. Now, what did we come here to do? We paid off our bounty. That's good. Oh, the Henry guy disappeared. Why did the Henry guy disappear? I'm supposed to meet him at the back of his mansion. Why did that disappear? I guess we'll go to the riverboat and hope that it pops back. Don't think I like you around here. Beat it. Ah. That's right. Scram. What? This is tarnation! There is nothing I can do in this game. I'm literally standing by myself, minding my own business, and I become wanted by the police. <laughs> Insanity. Apparently that one's only at night. Yeah, that's the vibe I'm getting. So maybe we'll have to wait tonight to complete that quest. Henry's missions aren't only at night, says Ethan. Okay. Random dude spams the chat with do Dutch. Tell you what, the best way to have me not do what you want me to do is spam the chat telling me to do something. Just saying. Like if you're wanting me to act on your, your recommendation, like spamming is probably the last thing you want to do. All right, riverboat. I wonder how many players have, uh, you know, left to go to the bathroom or to get coffee or something and come back to their character dead after being shot by St. Denis cops just because you loitered around too long. Hey, I'm looking for Boy Calloway and a man writing a book about him. This the riverboat they're staying on? Yes, sir, they're here. Around this time, Mr. Calloway usually enjoying a drink on the observation deck. You, you can follow me. If you're quick, you might catch him sober. Ethan says, no, 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 no. I meant to say they are, not it's aren't. Damn autocorrect. You found us. Sure. How did you get on? About how you'd expect. Well, any good anecdotes? Anecdotes? From the old days. Well, uh, to be honest, things went a little differently. Uh, I did shoot a lot of people. I, I thought that's sort of what you wanted. Well, I'd, uh, <clears throat> yes, that'll be fine. Do you think anyone noticed it was you? Noticed? I think the people I shot noticed. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> do you think anyone would mind if I, if we said he'd done it? Boy Calloway. Sure, I don't care. Just as long as... I Share the money? Of course I will. <laughs> Literature is a filthy business, but sometimes it pays well. Especially when you lie. Great. That's a goddamn fast! What the hell's going on here? Uh, nothing. Who's this grass name? Uh, you know? I don't know. You've been being me. I'm nobody, buddy. But I'm somebody! <laughs> and I can't have any nobody being this somebody, you goddamn... I don't know what the goddamn you are, but trust me, it ain't nothing I want to be, so you can't be me. By the way, we're worse. Oh, damn you, Theodore Levin! You're a snake! Damn you! Hey, damn you, nobody! Hey, I'm already damned. Oh, God. But I can't take credit for that, which I... Damn as I didn't, I... I'm an old man. Just never happened to Achilles, to Gawain, to Caesar. <laughs> you can't happen to me! I'm gonna kill them both here! Yeah, calm down. I'm a legend! Yes, you are! <sighs> all right, all right, well, let's prove it one more time. I don't have to prove nothing to you, nobody! No, of course you don't, but maybe you need to prove something to you. 
<laughs> you got quite a way with the words. Eh? Uh, maybe uh, you should write my book and we should kill Plato here. No, 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 <laughs> let, let's not. Nah. Now, come on. Who shall we kill? I mean, you kill, I mean. Ah, damn. I slayed my dragons years ago. I'm a tired old man. Ah, uh, now you're drunk and you're bored <laughs> and you're a mess. Well, I always hated Slim Grant. Oh, he killed my cousin. But that was years ago. Well, where's Slim Grant? Who's Slim Grant? This is him. An old friend of Mr. Calloway's. He ain't no friend of mine. He's state marshal now, out of Annisburg. State marshal? Make a damn cousin killer state marshal, do they? All right, I'll go get him. Great. We'll wait for you at Brandywine Drop. All right, just sober up and start practicing. Otherwise, this won't be a book. It'll be a memorial. Yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> oh, so we're going to go what? get a state marshal. I like that fella. <laughs> Arthur, you know, everybody talks about Dutch's charisma, and Dutch does have a certain um, <clears throat> kind of charisma, but uh, Arthur here's got some charm. He really does. He gets people to do... He calms them down, is what he does. All right, where's my horse? Over here. So, here we are. Yeah, I know it. Morning. All right, girl. Okay. Where do we got to go for this? What? Oh my God. All the way up to Annisburg for Jim Boy Calloway. Well, we're discovering new territory here, my friends. Uh, let's say we take the stagecoach. Melina Richard says, um, Oxhorn, doing a state marshal might get you into a, a load of trouble. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but who knows? Maybe Arthur can pull out some of his charisma. Ansberg. Rhodes, Valentine, Emerald Ranch, and Strawberry. That's it. Sure thing. Well, what's closest? Emerald Ranch, really? I guess because I haven't discovered it yet, I can't go there? Take the train, says Akina. Can I take the train? Where's the train? Uh, where's the train depot? That's the post office. That's the stagecoach. I've never taken the train before. How do you take the train in this game? Like we down if you change your mind. Oh, I'm right here. Railway station. And the post office. You can't fast travel to places you haven't been to yet. All right, yeah, that does Good make morning, sense. Sir. So, can morning, I sir. Is this the post office or the train? I uh, I mean, this says mail. Welcome back. Train tickets. There we go. Train tickets to Rhodes. Ansburg. That's where we're going. Traveling mercies to you. Don't do it. Why is everybody telling me not to do it yet and to save it for later? So this is Ainsburg.
Acting in a threatening manager uh, manner to passengers will initiate a robbery. Oh, I don't want to do that. Let's just uh, disembark. Okay, where's my horse? Does it come with me? Now, where's, um... Oh, he's in town. Okay, my, my horse is just outside of town. Um, so we go to the sheriff's office, I guess. Will you watch it? Wanted posters. Oh, but I can't get those. Four in there, sir. You. I'm looking for Slim Grant, State Marshal. Heard you boys know where to find him. Oh, Mr. Marshal was here last week. I think he headed up to Beaver Hollow looking for some outlaws. Is he coming back? Sure, when he catches them fellers he's been after. Well, how long's he been gone? Well, a couple of days. Well, you ain't gonna go look for him? If your boss's boss, who you all hated, went missing, possibly dead, at the hands of a bunch of violent wanted men, would you go looking for him? <laughs> well, yeah, probably, because I'm a fool. Well, when he's dead, Maybe I'll become Marshal. I'll be a hero riding a horse from town to town, mister. Think of that. Good yeah, luck yeah, with those yeah. dreams. <laughs> okay, locate Slim Grant at the Outlaw Camp. Where's that? Just, uh, oh, it's just outside of town. Okay, let's see if we can go find him. Girl? You might want to save. Okay, let's save. And I can't save. It locks you out of saving when you're in the middle of a quest. That's right. Pardon me. Speaking of sneezing and particulates in the air, I'm out of cigar. Be right back. We get Come on, Rick. Easy, easy. Akina says, fill your dead eye. You're right. God knows what's going to happen. Let's get some booze. And then to fill my core, probably what, a cigar? We got some beets, I haven't eaten in a while. Oh, it's for my horse. <laughs> oh, that's right, I'm on horse. I should probably feed my horse something. So let's feed the horse something. So nothing, okay, that just refills my core. Let's get some canned peaches. And then do I have to get a, a tonic? Yeah, it slightly damages my core.
Pretty country up here, man. Beautiful. And I love the music. Alexander says, Ox, I've been trying to catch you live. You're the best. Thank you, my friend. You're the best for coming to the broadcast today. Lots more live streams yet to come. Wow, I love the way this land looks. Look oh, at these beautiful trees. 20 minutes left, Ox, says Megan. All right, I'll try to make this quick. How exactly is this going to go down? Let's try a shotgun. How about that? So do we walt waltz in? No, they're outlaws. How many? Four of them. It's not too bad. Just standing right up, are you? Okay. Let's get you out of here. Oh, yes. Indeed, son. Uh. Hey, I knew someone would come for Grant. They oh, come you. on. Untie me. Uh -huh. You're fine how you are. So much for the shotgun. Where is he? I gotta get my hat. I need a favor, Mr. Grant. It's nothing big. I'll explain on the way. You might as well relax. This, this is real peculiar. I'm Look State Marshal. Ah. I'm surprised I didn't have an opportunity to um, talk to the state marshal, tell him the situation, and have him come peacefully. But then again, he is going to what could potentially be his own execution. Got a cigar off of that guy. Chewing tobacco. Now let's see what they had in camp, eh? Huh? 
Maybe some food. Not much. Looks like it's all just set decoration. Oh, we got some bourbon. Well, might as well use the bourbon I got. Where is it? Kentucky bourbon. Ground coffee. Looks like I'm stocked up on coffee. Nothing in the tent. What's in the back of this caravan? Nothing. Wait, there's a trunk in there. There's a trunk in there. Can I get in? No, I can't hop up there. Oh, uh, well. Well, it looks like that is it. Uh, that is it. Back to the horse. Now, um... Yeah, I know. Just sit tight. All will be revealed. Uh, now where do I take him? I gotta take him... up here. Thank God I don't have to take him back to San Denis. Waypoint! No good now, you gonna tell me what the hell is going on here? I was, before you got so short with me. <laughs> Son, what the hell are you up to? I'm taking you to see an old friend of yours. It's a reunion of sorts. Will you stop being so damn cryptic? I'm telling you all I can. It's a job. Someone wants to see you. I'm taking you to them. What if I don't want to see them? Well, that's a good argument for keeping that rope around your wrists. I'm a state marshal, and this is an abduction. Horseshit, I'm saving you. This is just a little detour on the way to liberty. <laughs> I will prosecute you for this, you insubordinate bastard. This is it, down here. Almost over, Marshal Grant. State Marshal Grant. Yeah, yeah. Here we are. <laughs> so you got Welcome new member Akina. Thank you so much. I think so. Did you kill his cousin back in 82? <laughs> Who's cousin? My cousin. I never shot no one didn't deserve it. Uh, you shot Jed Calloway. And I told you then I'd shoot you too. And I would have if you'd shown up. I was there. No, you weren't. You left town. You take that back. But I don't care now. It's nigh on 20 years ago. We're old men. We're lucky. Fight me. You're an old man. Come on, fight me. It's a bit late, isn't it? God damn you! Oh. Shoot a man in the back? Well, that settles that then. I shot him back. I shot him in the goddamn back. When these things happen. God damn you, goddamn both of you! Well, now calm down. Who cares? You should have shot him 20 years ago. He's dead now. You are a sickness scum like you and you, Plato. Come on, draw. Why? I said draw, goddammit. No. Yes! Oh, and he got me. All right, I'm, I got, I still haven't figured out how to do this yet.
Is it right click? It's left click to draw, right click to shoot. Let's try this again. Do I use Deadeye? Ooh, but I got him though. Load half, then draw. Shoot his pistol. This is one you have to shoot early. Huh. Okay, thank you everybody. So, I tried drawing. I don't understand the mechanic. I don't understand how I'm supposed to do this. Yet indeed. Still, at least now you got a, an end into your book. He's dead. Oh, uh, don't you start now. Uh, no, I'm not starting. I'm... I'm happy. I'm free. I can finally go back to writing westerns instead of being in one. Yeah, he was pretty wild. And I know some wild people. He was certainly complicated. I'm sorry I shot him. No. And you didn't shoot him. He did. In the back. After he mortally wounded Slim Grant. Fair and square. Yes, that's it. Last of the gunslingers. Well, more or less, I guess. <laughs> there's more? Oh, no, there's always folk who shoot you in the back and, and rewrite history. <laughs> oh, hey, where do I send the money? Send it to Tacitus Kilgore. No, that ain't my real name. Why did the camera pan to the waterfall? Is there something there? All right, so I got it. Loot him, the chat says. Okay. Is there a way to spare his life? Schofield Revolver. Callaway's Revolver. Drop the Schofield Revolver for Callaway's Revolver. Oh, now I'm looting Callaway. Uh, Pete's sick. No, I'm not wanting to pick him up. Uh. Sweet. Compendium updated. All right. A rare Showfield revolver plated in silver with Canis Canem Ed Edit. Engraved down the side of the barrel. Um, I have no idea what that means in Latin. Something about dogs? I don't know. Previously belonging to the late gunslinger Jim Boy Calloway, who was shot in the back by the coward Slim Grant. This, <laughs> this gun has an ammo capacity of six rounds and can use regular high-velocity split-point express and explosive revolver ammo. Cool.
Let's loot. What's his name? I feel bad for this poor guy. God knows what he did 20 years ago. Apparently his staff didn't like him. Ooh, and I lost honor for... Of course I lost honor for looting his corpse. Now, why did the camera pan to the waterfall? Kenid Kadem Edit means dog eat dog. Oh, thank you very much. Ox, you have no time left. Yeah, but doggone it, I want to see what's at what's underneath this waterfall before I end. Ooh, that's a big moose. Hello, Moosey. Let's go, girl. Yeah. Hey. Gonna swim with all our gear. Because why not? Oh, it won't let me go. Oh, there we go. Sure, I'm, I'm fighting against the stream. It's not letting me back there. Do a manual save. Okay, let me do a manual save just in case I die on the water. Save game. Manual save. Yes. Come on, let me forward. Uh, it's an invisible wall. I got it. Well, on that note, I'm probably going to end the broadcast. Out of time. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. I'm over by three minutes. Thank you so much for joining me for this week's episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. People are asking in the chat if I'm going to be doing Doom Eternal today, and I haven't decided. Um, if I do Doom, Doom Eternal today, I'm not going to get my lore video done for the weekend. So I think I'm going to skip it, work on my lore video for the weekend, and then maybe do a Doom Eternal broadcast tomorrow morning. Um, 10 o'clock a.m. Pacific time, I think I will. So uh, count on that, 10 o'clock a.m. Pacific time tomorrow morning for more Doom Eternal, and then I'll have a lore video for you Sunday. No lore video for you on Saturday because I, uh, <clears throat> I did a, a lore video earlier in the week on the new plague uh, for Fallout lore, and uh, I've got all these live streams to do. So lore video Sunday, live stream of Doom Eternal tomorrow. I'm going to try and figure out why YouTube is having a hard time processing my latest live stream of Doom Eternal. And when I figure that out, I'll get that live for you on the channel. This live stream will be live in approximately two hours if they end up uh, processing it correctly. So thanks again for coming. Have a wonderful rest of your Friday. I'll see you all very soon with more lore videos and more live streams. Bye-bye now.